What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. We're about to get on one of these things, you feel me? What's good with the watch? Night watch. Man, um, I'm late to the party. I realize that. Um, been busy the past few days. Just taking care of some things. But, um, yeah, apparently uh, there was an attempt to cancel Eminem. I know the reason now because i'm seeing the receipts or whatnot man but i uh, i'm aware that he went to a uh a harris rally to promote for her so i could already see the backlash coming due to that man and i'm not on here on no political type shit, bro but like you know but it makes sense dog you know what i'm saying uh, eminem is anti-trump so it's gonna be pro kamala a lot of that don't make sense to me you know what I'm just saying? Just given Eminem's history. Like, even musically, though. Like, a lot of the things he be rapping about, a lot of the reasons why people fuck with Slim Shady so much. You feel me? A lot of the appeal that is still present today. Because he said a bunch of anti-Kamala-ish on the death of Slim Shady. You know what I mean? But, you know, it is what it is. I just, I just want to see how they're going to tie it to canceling him dog you know what i'm saying that's crazy bro everybody got the right to say what they want to say and feel how they want to feel and you know what i'm saying entitled to their opinion you know what i'm saying so i don't like mixing rap with politicking but right now we're mixing rap with politicking because it seemed like they're trying to cancel eminem for politicking so let's see what the fuss is all about like always man peter drip shop stevenight.com like the video subscribe to the channel uh shout out et lifestyle Pull this from y'all. Let's get it. And moving on, in the quest to take down, expose, or cancel Eminem, we've got some hilarious material to go through. Starting with this, a petition on change.org to quote, remove Eminem's music from Spotify by November 1st. And here's some excerpts about what the hell is change.org? Does it even matter? I mean, like, that shit would never happen. Anybody gonna be removing Eminem for nothing. But what the fuck is change.org? Change.org, largest petition. Oh, this is some legit shit. Let's let's take your first tip towards. Oh, they really trying to uh take that man down, huh? Okay. All right, let's continue. Why his music should be removed. Eminem has spent the past seven to eight years. Why this petition matters. Rapper Eminem has been spouting dangerous rhetoric towards presidential candidate Donald Trump. Rhetoric that has a possibility of inspiring the recent attempts towards the president's life. What? Eminem has spent the past seven to eight years antagonizing Donald Trump every chance he gets. Antagonism that, mind you, was completely unprovoked. Donald Trump has zero hostility towards the rapper, and the rapper knows this. Verbally attacking people who he knows can't fight back is familiar territory for the rapper. And what do we call somebody who goes after people that can't defend themselves? A bully. Eminem is a pathetic bully that has been hinting at calls for violence towards Donald Trump. And regardless of your political leanings, bullying and calls for violence is in direct violation towards Spotify platform rules. This shit is gay. <laughs> this shit gay as fuck, dog. Oh, soft ass bullshit. is Mar Marie Steinberg. Baby. It called her freedom of speech. I mean. It's called her freedom of speech. I didn't even see what Eminem said, but just his presence alone at, you know, a Kamala rally speaks volumes. I, I don't have to know what he said. His presence is everything, and he has the right to feel how he feels and say what he say. I mean, and he said a bunch of outlandish shit. That ain't got nothing to do with Donald, and they ain't take his music down, ever. So what make you think they're going to try to take some shit down because uh, you sincere about his words towards Donald Trump? Donald ain't worried about that shit. Trump ain't worried about that shit. He ain't worried about no motherfucking words. Donald ain't worried about no motherfucking bullet. So he don't need y'all fucking hoes out here trying to petition to take Eminem shit down because you don't like what the fuck he's saying, dog. It's all sensitive ass bullshit. Eminem, let go. Antagonizing Donald Trump every chance he gets. Antagonism that, mind you, is completely unprovoked. Donald Trump has shown zero hostility towards the rapper. And the rapper knows this. Verbally attacking people who he knows can't fight back is familiar territory for the rapper and it ends with regardless of your political leanings bullying and calls for violence is in direct violation towards spotify's platform rules and i say 
that regardless of your political leanings, this is hilarious. And some fans have added some context to show just how ridiculous this is. These idiots think only America exists. B, Eminem got fans around the world who don't give a F about American silly politics. Facts. And this is that globally in the US type mentality. Facts. And we got more. This time trying to expose the rapper as some backstabber. I guess Eminem forgot when politicians were trying to silence and cancel his bum. Donald Trump was showing him love. Of course I'm right. I'm always right. <laughs> I'm Donald receipts. Trump. I'm always right. I know a winner when I see one. And Donald Trump is telling you right now, Slim Shady is a winner. He's got brains, he's got guts, <laughs> and he's got Donald Trump's vote. Ladies and gentlemen, our great candidate, Slim Shady. And boy, they've been going off. I was like, like, I I, this is old, clearly, so it's way out of context. Like, motherfuckers changed. But that's my thing, bro. Like, you know, all seriousness, man. Like, I don't understand Eminem in that regard. No, no hate. You can do what you want to do. Say what you want to say. All right, I mean, I definitely recall... Uh, precisely why he don't like Trump, but um, it seems to me that Eminem is like a liberal Democrat, which don't it don't make any sense. He has all the form and belief of you know of what a at least a common sensical person would say, you know, i.e. Uh, conservative, maybe Republican, but you know his anti LGBTQ bullshit anti-censoring focuses um the fact that he makes quite a bit of money at least on that end it don't make it don't make any sense right i mean i understand why white people don't like trump as an individual but uh there's the politic and the aspect of it don't make no sense to me so you know something 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 don't smell right bro you could you could see it with his last album bro he was he was on the slim shady shit but them thoughts are still there he still be thinking about that shit Right. Uh, so yeah, some some don't smell right, but but this whole cancel Eminem shit is a fucking joke. Eminem owes him some loyalty. Such of this loyal little clown Eminem is now. He learned from his baby mom Kim, and once again with the theory of blackmail. None of them have forgotten. They just being blackmailed. Eminem included. He's been compromised. And before we get to the Senate candidate who had an entire essay just for Eminem, even Community Notes has already destroyed some narratives. Check this out for instance. Eminem caught on camera. This video will send him it's to cat, prison. And this was stopped in its tracks by Community Notes. The image in this video will come from Eminem music video for 3AM from his Ooh, 2009 album, shit out Relapse. Yeah. Gun out uh, the holster right there. And the U.S. Senate candidate Royce White looks to be genuinely hurt by Eminem's appearance at the Detroit rally. It goes, Eminem riding with the White Dudes for Harris team wasn't on my 2024 bingo card, but it doesn't shock me. Ironically, he made his career and fortune being rebellious of political Facts. correctness in his lyrics, specifically with regards to homophobia, among other things. This is yet another example of how profound the power and influence of mainstream media has mainstream become. Media An example how shit, contradictory so. and hypocritical its spokespeople are. Anybody who made millions from becoming the counterculture provocateur to political correctness that now tells me to vote for the people who want political correctness to the point of constitutionally unjust prosecution is a clown. It is actually surreal in a way. Took Anybody the words who grew up in the Midwest metropolitan area in a city or ghetto that can't explain to me how the Democrats platform and proposals bring us prosperity or well-being or ownership more importantly step right up and provide the evidence. Eminem has lost touch, it is sad to see, but not abnormal. Again, I drive around beautiful Lake Calhoun and realize their Walt slash Harry signs show a pompous virtual signaling from their elitist lives that have no clue or care about what inflation is doing to the working class citizens or our young people that would love to buy a home. F you, Eminem, I've always respected Damn. his creativity and willingness to say what he wants, but never at the expense of my oh, own common sense. sense. You celebrities are either cowards 
clouds are completely ignorant. Race, gender, and sexual orientation is not more important than American citizenship. Right. They certainly aren't more important than people's quality, standard, and cost of living. To even suggest this is so unbelievably dishonest, I can't come to any other conclusion than it being sadistic. The whole country Bruh. will be like Detroit. I'm so proud to be from this city. You know, they say... See, if I, I would like to hear Eminem's thoughts on that, though. At least how he comes to terms with it. Like, how can you say these one things? But then, you know what, though? Like, I, I want to I see what he said. I, I haven't seen his whole Kamala speech. Eminem on that front, dog. He's not willing to piss off his own fans. His, his fans is clearly pissed off, dog. But I just, I can't make sense of what he's saying, though, bro. It seems contradictory and it seems hip, hip, uh, hypocritical. You feel me? But you know, Eminem's my guy. So I'd like to hear what he has to say about that. I think the vice president supports a future for this country where these freedoms and many others will be protected and upheld. Ow. Ow, she ain't even She ain't even pro-women, because she, she for women, goddamn. It ain't even for that. It ain't even for that, dog. What? You know, how, Sway? And here to tell you much more about that, President Barack Obama. What is it? So he didn't say nothing. So good talking there, so bummer. Damn, man, they don't get me copyrighted, bruh. Some of them said like 15 words, bruh. No diddy. presence is crazy bro that's one thing dog like they the left bro they they got they got the industry man they got all the motherfuckers with all the reach bro so 
if Trump win, it's going to show that. It's going to show how real motherfuckers is and how how many free thinkers there are that want swayed by the industry and the mainstream media by all the powerful goddamn faces they got Beyonce, Meg, Eminem, Obama, all these fools that they think are going to be able to sway public opinion. Right, if Trump come out that bitch and win, though, that's a testament to how solid a lot of motherfuckers is where they little, they little minions ain't fucking matter. You feel me? Um, but outside of that, dog, uh, not to be on my whole political shit. I, yeah, I, I, I want to hear what Eminem got to say about that, dog. It's conflicting information, bro. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely look at Eminem as a real motherfucker that you know, you know, sits in authenticity, realness, genuineness. Dog. So, you know, how do you come to terms with that? How do you come to terms with you know being you know pro Kamala, liberal, Democrat, left type motherfucker when they are literally the epitome of the the shit that you attack in song, bro. Like homophobia, anti-LGBTQ, you know, all censorship, right? All that shit come from over there. You know what I'm saying? Without and without a lot of that shit in his music, he would not be the rapper he he wouldn't be acknowledged as a rapper he is today, bro. So, you know, there's a disconnect right there. You feel me? Anyway, um, thoughts.